Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys episode number 30 of this journey to the Ultimate Ultimate Team. And as you guys can see up on screen, we're going to exit Ultimate Team as you guys recommended me and also asked me quite a bit to uh, go and give you guys a tutorial on how to do the custom corner tactic, which I utilize quite a bit uh, when I'm in a bad situation in Ultimate Team and also on head-to-head -head seasons. So as you see here, guys, we're going to go into the free roam arena, uh, which is under skill games. Going to press the back or the select button and going down to create a set piece. So as you can see there guys it's just there and you're gonna click on that and it'll bring you to another screen you're gonna to have to now check out which region you want to aim for and for each corner guys there is different regions so that's the main difficulty because they don't clone over so you have to make one for the right hand side and one for the left hand side which can be quite time consuming but uh, hopefully it'll benefit in the actual uh, games but uh, as you see guys what I'm doing is they're giving you all the actual little information on the bottom the right stick to change your player left stick to move them and what I'm gonna do is actually make a bit of a, a difference uh, to my one that I use at the moment is I'm gonna move the actual make sure that there's three players towards the halfway line and the reason for that is because we don't want people counter countering your uh, your corner tactic and then suddenly just being one-on-one -on -one with your goalkeeper because if all your players are in the goal or are in that goalkeeper's box uh, chances are they're gonna have no one to run up against and uh, we'll just be one-on-one -on -one with your keeper and if they do a cutback it will be very frustrating so uh, we'll take a precaution and leave three guys out there. As you can see, we're going to try to get everyone to sort of crowd around the goalkeeper. And the reason for this, guys, is the more pressure you put on the keeper over there, the less likely he's able to actually charge out. Because one thing you'll notice when you do this tactic, um, the keeper will actually try following you guys out. And because he's going to be so under pressure, he'll actually go slower. And that actually slows down his reaction. So try getting as many people around him as possible. And put maybe three people covering him just to make sure he doesn't follow you guys out correctly. And we'll keep those three guys out there. And now what I'll do is show you guys how to make running paths. So you press the record button, which is the B or the circle button on PS3. And uh, you choose each person and you're going to make them run out. So make them run out to different areas. I'd say don't spread them out too much, but uh, try to get them all into the middle. And one thing you got to do is as soon as you press that circle or B button, that's when the actual... Um, recording starts for their run so the more time you stay in one area then the more time the player will but uh, as you can see there just trying to pick out people to the middle of the box to the front of it and also just kind of keeping as many people in the middle and then one person just at the back slightly longer run just in case it does go a bit too far but we'll give you guys some examples here we're going to just save it now and uh, you've got different areas you've got four different areas to choose from on your d-pad where you'd like to save it I've already got three but I'll show you guys some examples possibly in the next episode and these are some bad examples guys so as you can see a bit too deep over there but we are trying to aim for between the penalty box and the goalkeeper box as then you can pull off those overheads and all those really good um, type of variant shots that you can have as you see there guys it went a bit too far and uh, this is just showing you guys just aim slightly between the um, as you can see, getting the overhead in there, very nice. But uh, in this episode, guys, we'll talk a little bit about the wager series, which I'm going to be starting very soon. Um, a bit about the question of the day, um, the market crash, and uh, also about Nepenthes' video, because uh, <laughs> we got on the Nepenthes' video and we've gained quite a few subs from that, and I do thank you guys. So, uh, as you guys probably know, I scored that Scorpion in this journey series, and uh, I sent it into Nepenthes, as a lot of you guys said, send it into KSI, and uh, I sent it into KSI, sent it into Nepenthes. And Nepenthes put it in his video as um, top five, I think it was top goals of the week. So uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, please do check it out and uh, vote for it. If we do win that 100k, then what I'll do is actually give that 100k away because it's down to you guys that I'm actually doing this. So that's why I'll give it back to you guys as I don't think I have any need for the coins. And uh, yeah, I'll give it back to you guys. So we'll probably do like a 100k giveaway on Xbox and PS3. I do know we only get it for one platform, but I'd probably get it for PS3 because... Um, I've got enough coins on Xbox, so I can do a giveaway on that one either way. So, um, yeah, thanks guys for the feedback over there. If you guys can, go check out that page, and then I think you have to go to his Facebook and uh, vote for it. And uh, hopefully we can win that, which would be quite nice. So, as you see guys, we're going to get into the League One Cup, and uh, we're going to go looking for our opponent. This actually I came up against five or six opponents, and they all just sort of left the game because they were uh, kind of fussy on the kits. And uh, I think I might need to change my kit up soon. But as you can see, we come up against the 3-5-2 France thingy team. <laughs> quite, a, quite a great name. And he's got a Bamiyang. Uh, Enkulu, and this guy was quite strong with the 352, but he was just trying to fire shots from everywhere, which I wouldn't recommend uh, unless you're very confident in your player's abilities. But Menez are going to get the ball from the goalkeeper's throw, and uh, as you can see, Aubameyang just getting there. I want to try out his inform possibly in the future, um, not just yet because uh, we're in the game possibly going to be finishing off this semi-final and hopefully getting into the final as you can see, just celebrating over there. But in the meantime, guys, I'll just quickly talk about. Um, 
as you can see, the two five uh, three <laughs> five two two one over there, not very strong. If your players have a very aggressive or attacking work rate, um, they will push forward, and you'll be left with sometimes a two or three back, which can be annoying. So do take that into consideration, guys, when choosing your defenders. That's one thing I wanted to put out there because this is like the journey series. I do give out tips, and um, that's definitely one of them. But uh, yeah, guys, I'll talk about the wager series now quickly as we. Um, you, you guys will see this game does get a few extra a few other goals but uh, with the wager series guys what I'm gonna be doing is starting on Xbox and on PS3 we'll start around about 5 or 10 K and we'll build our way up to approximately maybe 200k and the actual thing the actual way I'm gonna actually design this wager series is sort of like a Pokemon game so um, I'm gonna be versing subs who are gonna be like the trainers and uh, gonna help me get uh, sort of get some experience in the wager series area and then from there guys we will go and I'll try to verse a big YouTuber and they will be like the gym leaders or the elite four because I felt you know it can't make it like every other wager series out on YouTube so I said let's make it a little bit of a spin on it so let me know guys do you think that's quite a, a quite a unique way of going about a wager series and also um, for the question of the day guys before I forget um, what formation should we make our Brazilian team? Because that's the next one we need to make. So um, we are making a Spanish team for the next episode. I have gone and started to uh, look for some players. And you guys will see that. That's going to be the next episode anyway. So um, Also the Bayern series, which is looking quite good. I'm actually quite optimistic because um, when Messi and Ronaldo hit packs for Team of the Season um, Liga BBVA... Um, What's going to happen is the market's going to crash again, and it's going to be such a strong crash this time as lots of people want to get them. They're going to be going for possibly 5 million or 3 million, and uh, it's going to be very, very strong on the market. As you can see, this is our um, final opponent who is Sacre Bleu, Sacre Bleu and uh, he has a quite a strong team. I must say, guys, his, uh, Lucas was definitely a uh, very big uh, factor in this game, as well as his informed center back over there. Uh, but we do go and score the goal and uh, luckily get a 1-0 lead over there in the 23rd minute. But uh, this is one of those things which I never understood in FIFA, which is when a player hits it, somehow it just floats in the back of the net and it goes in the back. But um, that's nothing to worry about, guys. We'll just carry on. As you guys know, finals, I've been in like eight or nine finals now. And uh, they've all just been like that, just hitting posts. But uh, yeah, guys, so um, as I was saying about the market crash, um, try not to... Um, buy any major players just yet because when they do get out into packs uh, the market will sort of collapse very quickly and I don't want to see many people making losses as I'm very into like making ma people making a lot more coins than uh, liking to see people lose them so try saving your coins guys and uh, hopefully we can get some team of the seasons uh, as you guys saw, saw in my live stream yesterday I got my first ever team of the season which was quite cool and uh, for my pro club series, guys, for those of you who are interested in that, uh, unbelievable finish from his menes over there. But yeah, pro club series, guys, we'll be uh, getting some probably some gameplay later on, maybe 4 or 5 o'clock today. So uh, if you guys are online on Xbox, please do let me know. Uh, on PS3, we're trying to set up a club, but at the moment, it's having very big difficulties. The pros are sort of deleting every time I create one. So I don't know if that's some sort of a weird issue that you guys are also having, but uh, it was very frustrating. So as you can see, I'm going to go and sell all the players as it was Thursday. And I wanted to get all my coins back from my players and make some profits on them as well along the way. So, uh, as you guys probably know, I like to make teams, make the profit, and then sell them on. Um, play some games, have a bit of fun, understand certain players. If they play really well, like my Pato did and scored a Scorpion, I will keep them in the club for a possible future episode. But that's going to be the formation for the Spanish team. It's going to be a 4-3-3. And... Uh, yeah, so we're going to go, and as you can see, guys, these are the players that have sold so far. I think 18 out of 21 have sold, and uh, making quite a lot of profit on Bedimo, guys. He's a t trading technique in itself, so I don't know if you guys saw that, my trading technique video. Um, Bedimo is actually quite an interesting player to trade, but do look for the team of the season that's going to be coming out soon. So that's going to be the Liga BBVA, which is a Spanish league, and I'm not too sure if there's going to be an MLS one. I'm, I would be quite happy if there was, because I want to get Thierry Henry, uh, team of the season. He's been very good this season, and I'd like to probably try him out. But uh, I'm probably going to go and sell that team of the season player. If you guys think I should bring him onto this account um, and sell him on here, or do you think I should sell him on my main account and just uh, keep it like that? Uh, let me also know about that, guys, as that would help me out quite immensely. Levetti getting about around 700 coins on him and Van der Weel as well. But we got these other couple players. Going to see if we lower their prices down a little bit and uh, make some coins. But uh, 
Guys, let me know if you want to see a um, Pro Clubs episode out tomorrow, or do you want to see the Journey series out tomorrow? Uh, either way, I'll try to go get one of the two ready, and uh, we can have something out tomorrow that will be quite interesting. But as you can see, we're going to list three of them up, and I think we're going to wrap the episode up there. So uh, we've sold one of them. We'll go show you guys how much he went for. But if you guys have enjoyed the episode, please do drop it a like, and subscribe if you're new for more daily FIFA content. As uh, we're going to have a lot more content going out, guys. And into FIFA 14, we're going to have so many videos. It will be unbelievable. But yeah. This has been AVJV Gaming. Please do drop it a like, subscribe, and um, favorite this video also, guys, if you like it. But this has been AVJV Gaming. Catch you guys for the next episode.